Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Samar Ajawi. The Deputy Prime Minister, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak Al Khalifa, held a meeting with the former British Prime Minister David Cameroon, who is participating as a key speaker in the 44th Inter Arab Campus Association Conference, ICA, which kicked off yesterday under the patronage of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander, and First Deputy Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak conveyed the greetings from His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the, first, the Crown Prince and Deputy Supreme Commander, to David Cameroon, as well as their welcome of his participation in ICA. The Deputy Prime Minister and the former UK Prime Minister discussed the long standing friendship relations between Bahrain and Britain and the areas of bilateral cooperation in various fields for the best interests of the two kingdoms and their friendly people. They also reviewed a number of regional and global issues of mutual interest in addition to ICA's agenda regarding financial services within a stable investment and economic atmosphere. The former British Prime Minister conveyed his greetings and good wishes to His Majesty the King, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, expressing delight at visiting Bahrain and taking part in the conference. President of the Court of the Crown Prince, Sheikh Khalifa bin Daij Al Khalifa, also attended the meeting. His Majesty the King's representative for charity work and youth affairs, National Security Advisor, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, received the diplomats hosted by the Mohammed bin Mubarak Al Khalifa Academy for Diplomatic Studies as part of their program, Diyafa. His Highness stressed that the participation of the international diplomats enhances the international presence and contributes to the development of diplomatic work and the exchange of experiences among all. He noted that the gathering contributes to the creation of an international network of relations with the participants to achieve the vision of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, turning Bahrain into a gateway for all and a welcome center for new ideas in all fields. He noted that this translates His Majesty's vision to make the kingdom an important center for aspiring people from around the world. His Highness praised the distinguished level of international diplomats and their participation in the DIAFA program, which won the first place in the Government Innovation Contest and wished them further success. He also discussed with the diplomats a number of issues and suggestions that would enhance the diplomatic work between the kingdom and the participating countries. For their part, the international diplomats thanked His Highness for hosting them and praised the achievements of His Highness in all fields. Delegated by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, the Minister of Foreign Affairs Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa participated in the opening session of the 18th Summit of the Non-Aligned Movement held in the capital of the Republic of Azerbaijan, Baku. The summit 
was chaired by the President Ilham Aliyev with the participation of more than 125 countries and regional and international organizations. The minister conveyed the greetings of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa to President Ilham Aliyev, expressing His Majesty's wishes for success of the summit to fulfill the people's aspirations for security, stability and development. Sheikh Khaled delivered a speech in which he stressed the Kingdom of Bahrain's continued support for the objectives of the non-aligned movement which seek to maintain international peace and security. He noted that the Kingdom is committed to the approach of cooperation and collective action to strengthen the security and stability in the world, maintaining relations and peaceful coexistence between nations and people adhering to the principles of good neighborliness and non-interference in the internal affairs of states and refraining from threatening policies that destabilize international and regional security. The minister stated that the Kingdom of Bahrain has recently hosted the Warsaw Process Working Group on Maritime and Aviation Security in partnership with the United States of America and the Republic of Poland as part of its efforts to address the threats to security and stability both in the Gulf region and the world. He added that the working group was held following the terrorist attacks on sea lanes in the Arabian Gulf and the region and the attacks on oil facilities in the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. He noted that the establishment of a nuclear weapon free zone and other weapons of mass destruction in the Middle East is an important measure to promote peace, security and stability throughout the world and called upon the international community to work towards this vital goal of the Treaty on the Non-Proliferation of Nuclear Weapons. He asserted the Kingdom's commitment to its policy of working with allies and international partners, adding that it will continue its efforts to provide all means of security, peace and face all challenges targeting the region. The Minister praised the non-allied movement for upholding its principles and values since its establishment in Bandung Conference in Indonesia in 1955. He affirmed the Kingdom's support to various issues alongside the movement, including the Palestinian cause, fighting terrorism and confronting its sponsors and financiers and stopping interference in the internal affairs of states which obstructs the settlement of crises and hinders the establishment of positive relations among states based on respect for independent sovereignty, mutual trust and good neighborliness. He also stressed that the Kingdom of Bahrain will remain committed to working with its brothers in the Arab coalition to support legitimacy in Yemen, to achieve the security and stability in the Republic of Yemen and reach a peaceful solution based on the Gulf Initiative and its executive mechanism and the outcomes of the National Dialogue and Security Council Resolution 2216 of the year 2015 in a way that grants the unity of Yemen and the safety of its territories. He also expressed appreciation for the efforts of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia to unite all the national parties and the legitimate government in Yemen to enable them to face the Houthi coup militia and others who pose a threat to the security and stability of Yemen and the region as a whole. Regarding the Syrian Arab Republic, the minister stressed the importance of preserving its independence and unity and categorically rejecting occupation of any of its territory by any foreign forces. He stressed the need to reach a political solution in accordance with the Geneva Declaration 1 and the relevant United Nations resolutions. He also affirmed that the Golan Heights is occupied Arab Syrian territory in accordance with international resolutions issued in this regard. In collaboration with the American Chamber of Commerce in Bahrain Amcham, the U.S. Ambassador Justin Sibrel addressed the American Chamber of Commerce in Bahrain's networking luncheon to kick off the U.S. Embassy 2019 Discover America Week. More details on this report with Hiba Abdel Ghaffar. Discover America Week, which runs from October 24th through November 1st, is an annual event organized by the U.S. Embassy in Bahrain to promote U.S.-Bahrain bilateral trade and investment and to maximize the benefits of the U.S.-Bahrain free trade agreement. This is the very beginning of a week of activities where we will be drawing attention to American products and services in the Bahrain market, all with the goal of strengthening the commercial partnership that the United States and Bahrain enjoy. The idea is that in October in the United States we celebrate Columbus Day, uh, named for Christopher Columbus, who discovered, quote-unquote, the New World, America, and we celebrate that holiday in October. So what we do here in, uh, in Bahrain, as well as a number other, of other posts in the Gulf, is we offer the opportunity to discover America in the country. So we're going to be spending the week visiting with uh, counterparts in various businesses. 
In collaboration with the American Chamber of Commerce in Bahrain, the U.S. Ambassador addressed the AmCham community at Bahrain's networking luncheon to kick off U.S. Embassy 2019 Discover America Week. It is a successful annual event. It basically brings out U.S. products, technology, and many other things that are in existence in Bahrain and probably that will come to Bahrain in the future. Our aim as AMSHAM is basically to partner with the U.S. Embassy to bring in, um, because we, we would like to increase investment, commerce, and trade with the United States. So by partnering with the U.S. Embassy on, on this uh, event uh, we are we are also trying to help them advance it and be there to as, as partners the luncheon was one of manama entrepreneurship week events supported by the u.s embassy and amcham which featured an american speaker and leading businesswoman and a number of inspiring examples of empowered women in business I am so inspired and I'm excited about the energy, the enthusiasm, the open minds, the open spirits, the open hearts to just collaborate together. Everyone here, the men and the women, are incredible. But one of the things that I'm seeing about the women too is like, women are already empowered here. Now they're just taking it up to the next level. And so I feel honored and very humbled to just be invited to have a seat at the table to explore, well, what can we do together so that we can even take what's already happening here and expand it throughout MENA, the region, and ultimately the globe. This year's Discover America program has been designed to highlight the long history of America's commercial relationship with Bahrain, which dates back 120 years to the founding of the American Mission Hospital and underscore the enduring presence of some American companies in Bahrain, as well as a variety of new entrants into the market. The U.S. Embassy along with the American Chamber of Commerce today kick off the Discover America Week with an inspiring panel discussion empowering women. Reporting for Bahrain International, I'm Hiba Abdul